Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We caught wind of somebody that needed some help, so I guess that's what we're going to try to do. It's Friday, uh, another beautiful day here in the mountains, but uh, some folks have fell kind of down on their luck. They had a slow leak in a tire, and it, it sounded like a really bad situation. It looked like they were they were trying to find a place here to live, and um, they were door dashing and stuff like that, trying to make their way, and, and fell on some hard times. I'm seeing if I can locate them or not. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is, but it sounded kind of bad. So, let's see if we can find somebody over here that's. Didn't say what kind of car it was. That one's just got doors open on it. That's. I don't see any flat tires on that one. No, it's probably not yet. Huh. I bet you that's them over there. How are you? There. Somebody have a flat tire over here? Me. That's you? I saw something on uh, on the internet there said that you had a you had a flat tire. Yeah, a week and a half ago, I actually hit a some um, fence post on Pippin Center on my DoorDash delivery driver. Yeah. My last delivery, someone had dropped them out of a truck, and it was either hit a van head on to the left, go over the river on the right. So I just braced and hit him, blew out my front passenger tire, had it replaced oh. in my normal shop, and it started two days ago. A little low air, put air in it, and then woke up this morning, and she's almost a tank. Uh oh. Which, which one is it? Is it this one? Is it this one here? Yeah. Oh, it is just a little low, isn't it? Well, when I went to go back it up, it's, it's, you can hear the, you hear it, the brand one. The, oh, no. I have to be careful. Well, let's see if we can get some air put in it. I, I've got some air. Air, and I've called my guys at the tire shop, but I'm hoping they're going to help me. Yeah. Are you going down here to... It's the discount, Super discount tire. Yeah. That's where I go. Those yeah. Spanish guys. That's who I always go for. Yeah, those guys are pretty good down there. Well, let's see if we can get you some air over here. See if we can help out. Yes. No, 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 no. Couple tires. Oh. Couple tires. No, no, no. <laughs> no one no. helps us. Get up. We're, We're going to help you. We're going to help you. I clean houses here. We're going to help you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I give you a card? Yeah, yes. absolutely. I'll get you a card. That, that should have enough air in it, um, and hopefully they can. Hopefully they can at least. They might be able to just fix whatever slow leak that, and then you can you can take that money and use it for better things. But yeah. I hope that uh, I hope that they can fix that one. If they can fix it, then it's then it's just a few bucks. You know, they might be able to plug it for ten bucks or something like that. And she said she it's just a slow. 
it looks like it's got pretty good tread on it. Yeah, I mean, so, it's a really good used tire. It's yeah. Well, actually, it was 45. He cuts me a deal. Yeah. But I told her it could be a couple, of, it could be a bad valve stem. It could be something that's making a slow yeah. leak. Yeah. It's gotten faster overnight. I mean, yeah. Well, I'm glad we I'm glad we found you and we could help out and people people help us out all the time. So we just we just passing we're passing the good along. So <laughs> yeah, pay it forward. We did the same thing. Yes, I know you guys. We need we we ought to stick together. It's crazy around here. It's crazy. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get yeah. more jobs. You know, I started uh, business in December. Yeah. Know, to get jobs. It is. It is. Yeah. You'll get there. You'll yeah. get there. The main thing is just keep going. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. No, we have not lost our faith. Uh, no, don't slow down. Men better, you know. It's weird. It's hard. The men don't want to eat some men. Don't want to eat some men. Yeah. Business yeah. Don't yeah. Yeah. Hit on me and stuff. And I know. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Thank yeah, you. there's some there's some bad people, but uh, yeah, just keep keep your spirits up. You'll make it happen. Thank you. Thank you guys. Okay, guys, that was uh, thank you guys, thank you YouTube family, uh, because I said you guys you guys are the ones that make that happen. Um, you know, not me. I'm just the messenger and. Um, if I can help, you know, get the tire aired up and make sure it's at least safe to get to the tire shop, we didn't have to tow it. So, really, it's very minimal on my part. You guys, you guys at home watching are the ones that are helping out and uh, responsible for those smiles and hugs that we get there. So, those gals, uh, they're they're local gals. They've been working their tails off, got a few different jobs, and just really struggling uh, like a lot of folks here in this country <laughs> not even this country worldwide um but you know like i said it's it's the small things just giving them some money for some better tires is, is really gonna keep them going because you know one of their business was door dashing mm -hmm. so if they don't it's, it's like me guys if i don't have my tow truck i can't make money and if they don't have their car then they can't do their deliveries yeah. so she also said she had a clean business too. And See. you have to have a car to transport your stuff back and forth, so. Yeah, yeah, if you don't have your, your equipment, yeah. Equipment is what it takes. And, you know, maybe they'll be able to get, you know, some better some better tires and and uh, be able to make their money, make some money to keep it going because rent's expensive, guys. You know, just if they have a flat tire and they miss out on just a a day's worth of work, not even two days, just a day's worth of work would be the difference or whether they can pay that expensive rent. And we get that. There's a, there's a few hotels in the area, like this one over here to the uh, to the left of me here. A lot of the, the folks will come and stay in these places. It's, it's, I mean, we're a block away from the strip. We get a lot of our, our, our J1 visas and um, just folks that, that come and general contractors that are in the area to work for a short period of time. These places are are kind of crucial because there's very few of them, few and far between on the on the places to stay, but they're expensive, guys. You you have to have a good chunk of money to be able to stay at even those places. Keeping them going, guys, we appreciate it. Gosh, what is it? It's about one o'clock, so I've got a few more pickups and a few more people to take care of, so stick around, stay tuned. And once again, thank you to the YouTube family. guys what an absolute amazing day we're looking for a black chevy traverse i'm not sure what's going on with it but it doesn't run we're going to see if we can find them i believe we found them wow 
how are you guys? We left you on YouTube. <laughs> well, we appreciate the tow truck's not for us, but we're just no? helping them. Oh, okay. They, they're broke down. They are. We, yeah. The, yeah. The park ranger a, called earlier and said you. They got a tow truck coming, and and then a taxi. I don't yeah. have enough room in my car. They got three babies. And I am. I uh, the national park called and said that you're going to go to um, the people Chevy are dealer. Sweet. Yeah, These the Chevy are dealer. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. We watch them all the well, time. we appreciate you guys. We do. <laughs> we do. On yeah. yeah, we we record a lot of crazy things. Yes, you we do. get a we, we get a lot of people that are in uh, in need of tow trucks. I could say it that way, I guess. <laughs> Maybe sometimes not in need of a tow truck. Yeah. And they've got toys and candy too. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm blocking the whole dang road. Yeah, my, I, we are able to get in contact with my brother, and he thinks my fuel pump's in it. It happens a lot with the Chevy stuff. Is it is it full? Full of fuel? Yeah. Okay. We're just making sure. Sometimes yeah, we, we get a lot of phone calls actually when we'll, they'll come to these steep inclines and then they won't have enough gas to pick up the... Yeah. yeah. We had three quarters of a tank when we left Maryville and we just tapped off. So okay. we had a full gas tank. Okay. Like it's turning well, we'll, over. Like it, you know, it's just, not battery related. Just won't go. Okay. Well, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll so, get it over to the Chevy dealer. You're fine. You're fine. No worries. No worries. I'm coming with you with things. Um, it it really doesn't matter. Um, they said you had a cab coming. Yeah. Okay. But I, I probably need to talk to the dealer. Do you know if the dealership going to be open when we get there? I don't. Know. It's Friday night. Yet. Their their service is usually till five. I don't know if they'll be able to actually get you done today right. so if you're over well, there I mean, you're probably I'm able to at least talk to somebody to try to get a plan because i'm from wisconsin yeah more usually what we'll do is we'll drop the vehicle off we'll give them your keys or put it in the drop box whichever comes first and then um so you're not trapped over there with no ride you just better off just to call them in the morning or call them tonight and tell them do, do they know it's coming now don't I know okay plans. you probably don't have a signal okay no. yeah that makes sense um yeah, I'll let them know, and, and they'll have your phone number, and, and they'll contact you just as soon as they get it in the doors. Um, and I would just get How some. How much is it going to cost for time? Um, I have money, but yeah, yes. no. Well, no, usually, expensive. usually the insurance companies will will at least pay for it or reimburse. Okay. So if you want to call mom and 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 see if it's going to be if they want the insurance wants. I'm just going to pay out outright. And then and they'll reimburse you. Bit, yeah. Okay, but like I said, keep your receipts, and then they'll reimburse you or you can have them call me directly for billing that way you don't have any out-of-pocket while I'm in transit to to that location but uh, yeah we I hate that for you guys long trips it happens a lot on long trips that stuff gets hot it's usually alternators and brakes and you can like when we were here for like an hour and you can just feel everything was so so hot so yeah it it happens a bunch. We we get that a lot. Um, good old mountains for you. Yeah, it's the old mountains. I tell you, they're 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 hard on they're hard on vehicles. That's for sure. Is this one the all wheel drive? No, it's front wheel. Just front wheel. Okay. I'll probably just pull through and then I'll probably coast it right back. Is this you guys here too? Yeah, we this is you. Oh, you guys are fine. I, I just don't want to block you guys in. No, that's fine. I can we it. just wanted to make sure they had a ride. Yeah. Yeah. He said he had a taxi coming for six and he contacted me i think he said six I was told he four. said four okay no it's he, he may have told me wrong i don't hold me to it i who i got so many numbers but yeah we'll uh we'll get through that the little ones you got a bunch of little ones we do. I mean, little, we've got we've got some toy tow trucks up here somewhere <laughs> she is not she's back manning the phones right now because i don't have a signal when i'm up here Oh my goodness, she's getting big. She's a. Uh, we love watching you. We, we love watching you. We appreciate you guys. Like, we really I do. I hope it's everything I, auto. We, we, we were <laughs> I got. I, you guys can pick out whatever you want. If you've got some little ones back there that want to come pick out. Yeah. Oh my. And they can have as many as they want. They're uh, they're, uh, they're subscribers to buy this stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure not that if I like Google it. It's yeah, I it's um I think it's uh Winfield Dunn Parkway and um Oh wow, oh, wow. Man, you can get we get all kinds of cool stuff. People send us Hey, we 
Wink, can just, I get a picture? Well, absolutely, of you? <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> please, absolutely. I, that was on my bucket what, on your bucket list to meet you. Well, we knocked it all out yeah. in one yeah. in one shot. <laughs> Mikey's got a camera. We got yeah, Mikey. Yeah, I couldn't leave them. I couldn't leave we, them set. Oh I no, set. no. No, that's awesome. We, we actually said, boy, did you I know, I was we, like, when I seen it, I go, that's the truck. That's the truck that I'm going to <laughs> we, we, uh, yeah, we, we get a, we get to meet a lot of folks from all over the world. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, really cool stuff. Yeah. But yeah, we're very lucky. We get, to, like I said on the channel, we get to pass these things out. We get to see all the smiling awesome. faces. Yes. Uh, sometimes the viewers, the viewers don't get to see all the little yeah. kids smiling and it's it's really cool. I love it. Yeah, we love watching your videos. We thank you guys. We do. We uh, boy, it just it's never a dull moment. It seems oh, like it's yeah. Not. We were like, we want to see you, but we don't want to be the one that gets towed. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I got my parking pass. It's true. We. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we don't get a whole lot. We get a lot of, the park will call us if you're if they're blocking the roadway, but yeah. they really don't say anything for really the parking passes. I haven't had yeah. any, haven't had any phone calls for okay. those, but. Yeah. And along the side of the road, you, you'll yeah. tell them Dude, it's yeah. like, that's great. people, will, I, I'd be afraid to leave my car yeah. someplace like that. I don't, goodness gracious. Yeah, we've seen some like, yeah, oh, that one needs towed, it's on the road. Yeah. I know, it's like, I, you, if you're a long ways from home, that'd be the last thing you'd want was the back end of your car tore off or something like that. You couldn't pick a better day to be up here. That's yeah, it's golly, it's, it's, it's an amazing, gorgeous. absolutely. If they were to leave to go home to West Compton. No, that seems like that's always when it happens yes. too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we, we've got a ton of videos, I believe, yeah, still out there. It's, it's crazy. I will give you a call just as soon as I drop it off to make sure that you don't want the insurance company to take care of stuff. And at that point, if you don't, then we can do card over the phone. That way we've all got signal because we don't have signal up here. But just as soon as I do that, I will drop it off. But they've got a key drop form, so I'll put your name and the vehicle info, and uh, they'll have they'll have those keys. Well, yeah. Absolutely. He might need you someday. Well, you never know. Hopefully not, but... But, yeah, no problem, you. guys. You guys are awesome. Well, you're awesome, too. Oh, we appreciate it. Do you think the taxi would be a minivan? Yeah, uh, well, either that or they use Benz a lot, and Benz has, like, it's a Mercedes-Benz, and it's like one of the wagons. Oh. It's really cool. They're usually a, a really fast company. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, got that one loaded up for him there. Uh, do a quick little jot around. But uh, uh, hopefully it's just a fuel pump. You know, maybe it's something simple. Maybe it's something simple like a sensor and they can get them going again. But, uh, yeah, it's an amazing day up here. And um, we're going to get these gals over to the dealer and hopefully they can get fixed up. room to cut. There's a curb over here, but you're far from it.
All right, this is a little front wheel drive Ford Fusion with the wheels cut real sharp. Can't tow it, it's towed in, pulled in front ways with the wheels cut sharp. Yep, it's gonna stay. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, some scrapes there. There's a dent here. Gotta stay. There's some scratches here on the side. Oh, there's a note. Liquor store parking only. We'll tow at 5:45. Okay. It is I don't know after six I think. Six eleven. Six eleven. And that fender wheel is chewed up a little bit. And this wheel has some strips on it. Somebody said they didn't like me because I pointed out the flaws on people's cars. Well, sorry about that, but kind of my job. Some scrapes and scratches on the front bumper. If you don't like to walk around, then skip this part. It's fine. Scrapes on that wheel. We do these walk arounds because we don't want to get blamed for stuff like that. And like that. But it's okay if you don't like to walk around. If you don't like me for doing walk around. Fine. But we're putting it up on dollies because it is a front wheel drive car. It's close. You're not going to make that. No, nope. you're, you're trapped now. Can I come all the way back to you? Yep. Watch your tail. Okay, yeah. Watch your tail end there on the back of her bumper. Hold on. Okay. That's about as far as you can go this way. There you go. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep, still good. Okay, that's good. Stop. Stop. Can they get out now? You think you can wiggle out of there now? Yeah, I think I could. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Maybe she can direct me next. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You won't be able to pull forward any. So yeah, don't pull forward any. Okay. You'll probably just have to back out to the road. I think, yeah, cut it really hard. Yeah. All right, keep going. Yeah. Okay, hold on, Jeff. You go straight now. now straighten your wheel. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, straighten your wheel a little bit more. There you go, right there. Now you should be able to turn. Yeah. Make your yeah back end go. There's a curb up there, but you're far from it. Let me go look. You're good, Jeff. You can't go any further. Whoa. Dang, girl. Good job. <laughs> you too. Okay. 
We've made a complete disaster of this parking lot. I'll give this to him, get the cars to her, and we'll be on our way. Trying to catch me riding dirty. <laughs> Gatlinburg will catch you riding dirty. No, we did not. Um, you should you should try to call the Pigeon Forge Police Department. Anything that's towed uh, without owner consent has to be reported. So they should know who has it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Should I do a walk around? Yes. This is a city call. I'll do a walk around of this. Back glass is pre non existent. Some scratches. Beat up wheel. I don't know what all that stuff is. I know it's dark. I'm sorry. I should have grabbed the light. I think it's a general idea. I need to get tickets started for this. That's interesting. That's the guy's bike that we towed for uh, running. I don't think YouTube knows anything about this. No? No, I don't think we recorded any of it. Okay, well, uh, that guy. Last week, wasn't it? I think it was last week. Him and a buddy, I think they were ripping through Gatlinburg. I was told that they were just gonna tell them to turn their music down. They've got those big bikes, they got the big stereo systems on them. And I was told that they were just going to tell them to turn their turn their music down. And instead, they both took off and fled. Um, they caught that guy, and, and we picked him up at uh, Anakista. Mm -hmm. And then we towed him to impound, so he's just now getting his bike out of impound like a week and a half later. The other guy decided to run and not stop at all, and they caught up with him. I believe I was told... It was about uh, two days later? I want to say it was the next day, but it might have been two days later. He, uh, uh, I guess they, they had a name and Facebooked and and uh, found his his picture with the motorcycle, and they knew that he was the guy for the. Uh, so they just went to his house, went to his house and got him. And uh, so it's not worth it, guys. Don't just yeah, just pull over. What was the reason they gave for not for fleeing, for not pulling over? Said they didn't want to have their bikes towed. Which, like I said, he, the, I was told he was just going to tell him to turn the music down. Um, but there may have been more to it than that. I don't, I don't get, you know, 100%. So don't take my word for anything solid. I just, uh, I get a little bit of uh, information here and there. And, and uh, from what I was told, that yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he was uh, just going to give him a, a verbal for turning the music down. But they took off and they didn't want their bike towed, so they took off running. Because Gatlinburg does have a noise ordinance. They do. I mean, you just can't go ripping through town and blazing. Because it's going to echo off. It's just like a tunnel of buildings right there. And we've got some some small kids and and older people. Hearing aids. That could be crazy. You know, you would had a, oh my gosh, your yeah. volume set on a certain level. And you'd come ripping through there and blast somebody's eardrums out. And, and not only, I mean, it's like, you might love your music, but somebody else might not. So... It's too close quarters over there to be blaring and 
racing your engine. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my poor brother got a, <laughs> he got a ticket for racing his engine. I'm not sure what that means, but he was, yeah. What's funny about that is your brother is very, he's very on the straight and narrow. He would never do anything wrong. Yeah, it's funny. I was the heathen growing up, but he was uh, <laughs> straight and narrow. So. Maybe YouTube will get to see my brother at some point in time. I don't know. He stays up north working all the time, and uh, we don't really get a chance to meet up a lot. But uh, maybe, maybe one of these days, and maybe one of these days that guy will get a bumper. He Poor just Corvette. tore it off. Corvette tore his bumper off behind us. Anyway, guys, yeah, I don't know what the story was, but he got to pick up his motorcycle, and uh, maybe he won't. Uh, you can't outrun the radio, guys. Just, and it's not worth your life. Oh, gosh. It's, our roads are crazy. I could not imagine being in a pursuit on a motorcycle or a car in our area. So, anyway, stay safe out there, guys. We still got somebody that's supposed to come and pick up this illegal Parker from Liquored Wine, Liquor Wine of the Smokies. So, might be an interesting one. You guys don't want to miss out on that one. <laughs> Hey buddy, what's up? Um, I'm looking for a minivan that's hanging off of cliff somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm at. Oh, but... hell, you're kidding. <laughs> hey, let me ask you. Um, by any chance, you didn't tell a car at the liquor store over next to the hotel, did you? We certainly did. About uh, about six, about six o'clock. About six o'clock. About six o'clock. She said it was there three about three hours. So I guess it got there about two, and it's a little silver car. Okay, how much is it to get that bike? It's to the registered owner. All right, well, we'll let them know. Yeah, they're guests at our hotel. They shouldn't have parked there anyway, so we'll let them know, Jeff. Okay. All right, hey, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. No problem. We thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, man, have a great night, okay? You too, man. Bye-bye. Uh, Thanks, buddy. Uh -huh. Bye. Unknown caller. Everything auto. Hi, yes, ma'am. Hang on just one second. Sure. There you go. Uh, oh. Hello? Hello, everything auto? Is that Angels? Hi, this is... We were checking in the Westgate and our um, silver Ford Fusion got towed from the liquor store, which we didn't, park, but we couldn't park there. So I was, we were just trying to get the car back tonight. Okay. You have to be the registered owner. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Our address is 221... Hang on just a second. Let me, it's not the same as on the card, so I got a pen. 221 Newman Road. 221 Newman Road. Yes, and that's in Gatlinburg. Okay, how far is that from Westgate? Um, not very far. It's, I don't know, probably two or three miles. Two or, okay. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out how to get the car back tonight. Okay, you'll have to get a cab, Uber, Lyft, uh, trolley. Okay, yes ma'am. Okay, and the cost is and it has to be cash. Dollars? Yes ma'am. And it has to be cash? Yes ma'am. Um, okay. And she hung up. Okay, well, she'll be over there waiting for us, I suppose. She hung up on me before I told her to was called first. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Jeff, Everything Auto. Are you guys coming after the, the vehicle tonight? If I had a way to get there, I would. Okay. Okay. I just didn't know if you guys were coming this evening or not. Um, we, we just don't keep anybody here after hours, and I, I want to make sure that you weren't here waiting on us. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Alrighty, thank you. Okay. I told her she could take the trolley. She's got all kinds of options. Yeah, the trolley's right there at Westgate. And it'll bring you right on over here. And then we have cabs and Ubers and Lyfts. And, um, you know, a, a, we get that a lot. So we're kind of left in the dark because they're, they're so frustrated about the situation that, you know, they'll just hang up. So when they hang up on us, we have no idea if if they're coming in a half an hour or if they're not coming at all you know they just they just won't you know when they get that frustrated they won't call us at all so anyway um maybe tomorrow everything auto yeah you uh you guys towed my car last night i was wondering when i could come get it what kind of car was it a ford fusion 
Okay, yes, sir. Um, as long as you give me about 30 minutes or so before you're going to plan to be at the lot, I'll get somebody at the gate. Okay, uh, so, well, we can't come there, like, right this instant. We, we've got to find a way to get to you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so just if to, I give you a call back. Yeah, just let me know when you're, yeah, when you're about 30 minutes from the gate, just give me a call and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to be there in about 30 minutes to get my car. Generally, unless we've got some accident call that we're, that we're running, usually we can be there within right. about 30 minutes. Okay, and also, uh, can you guys process a card or do I have to get cash? It has to be cash. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's cash to the, and it has to be the registered owner of the vehicle for the release. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be giving you a call back then as soon as we can get a ride over there. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Hey, guys. Hey. You guys, after a fusion. Fusion. Yeah. Gotcha. You the old fusion. If you got keys, I'll bring it up here for okay. you. So, uh, Sorry, guys, the liquor store is kind of. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. How long did they say that? Yeah, they, what they say to you? They called me. There was a there was a note. She's got. I'll get you the note and the receipt. But they said, they said it had been there three hours before they called us, and they called us at 5:45. They had only been there like an hour. That's a lie. Yeah. We were still driving from Ohio at two at two o'clock or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what they gave me. I'll give you my receipt. And then I don't know. That's crazy. But yeah, they. I mean it. Yeah, I, they were. It ain't gonna change. I mean, it yeah. ain't gonna change anything. They they had a bunch of stuff over there. Um, I know when we pulled up, when they called us for yours, there were there were a couple other couples that come running from from the Westgate oh. place. What happens is they they do their seminars or their, and then people will come and they'll park there, and then the liquor store will have them removed from yeah. from the lot just because Westgate's not telling them. I guess they need to go up to the that's what i they were like you should have parked behind that building i was like where's the sign that tells me that <laughs> I, I, yeah. I literally circled the building three times try, waiting on a spot to open yeah. up it's and you know the she was like parking a handicap i was like i don't want to get towed i know <laughs> I, don't get towed. They, I promise it, it, you know downtown gatlinburg is really tough and then yeah. you know over there so you have to you just have to pay to park on those situations but for you i guess probably what would have made it easier for you guys if they had like a a billboard that said if you're coming in for the seminar parking is this well, way we yeah. we're owners there so we were just trying to check in so once we got checked in, we had dinner at the bar that's inside their they, lobby. They give they give us vouchers for the for the bar and restaurant that's right, right there. Right down there at the bottom. So we we're like, cool, we'll cruise over here and have dinner, and then we'll skedaddle. But yeah. uh, literally, there's that, no there's yeah, no we park. Checked, we checked I circled the building three times. Yeah, there's nothing down down low. I know. I think if you come in like right there where the liquor store is, if you keep going up that hill, that's what they they've do. got like a. a it's, it's a huge parking lot up there for for their seminar stuff. Now I know but, security. They're like, when you didn't find a spot down here, they're like, you should have went right up over the hill. I'm like, I you don't know I that. I can't see that. I don't know yeah. that's up there. It's really tough. I know the first time they called me for uh, somebody that needed a jump start or something up that way, I had no <laughs> idea that even existed up there. Yeah, it, it, and unless, you, you wouldn't. Unless you, yeah, yeah. You, unless you stayed in that building, you wouldn't yeah. know, you know where the extra parking is. But yeah, their parking is limited now. Uh, also, due to the construction, I guess, at the water park. Yeah, it's really They got bad. all that shut off. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, there's there some, was there's no like spots. a little parking lot down there that's kind of privately owned, too. And it was a huge problem there for a long time. And they, like, roped and chained it off. And <laughs> they've got it for lease. And I don't, man, it's, you really just have to be super careful with, with the area. Now um, I know, for sure. Yeah, they'll call, they'll call for removal on that stuff. We, yeah. we normally it's downtown Gatlinburg that we stay pretty busy on. It's not usually right unless they're having one of their seminars, then that's when it kind of ramps up over there. Well, and, and they told us, you know, or well, uh, that was our concierge. I, 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 I thought he, I, I thought it sounded like he was talking to you on yeah. where, where to, on where yeah, to park. He, he's our, he's our dude. I don't know. I, I called and at him last night because I was, uh, I was up. 
set. Oh, I know you guys. Uh, yeah, that, and you have every right to be. You know, it's. Uh, I uh, thank you guys for being nice. I want to oh, say yeah. that. Well, because I mean, yeah, it ain't on you. I mean, and you're we doing your job. Here but sooner, but he took us to I guess your other house. address. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Pigeon Forge. Well, so so I'm we we just sat through there. our seminar first before we came here. Yeah. And so uh, they were like, "Where do you got to go to get your car?" And I laid the card down on the table, but I laid it down on the written side. This address. Yeah. Well, I guess he flipped it over and seen the address on the front of the card. Yeah. We get in the car and like it's... he's driving, driving, driving. We're like. <laughs> We yeah, take some they stuff. Took, they yeah. took this thing all the way up in here. <laughs> yeah, we, we we take some stuff over there for our Pigeon Forge calls, but all the Gatlinburg yeah. area calls are easier to bring here. Yep. Yeah, guys, I let me get you this receipt. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's uh, but like I said, thanks for being nice because oh, most yeah. people are yelling and screaming at us and. Well, it's not your fault. I know we're like they call us to remove them and we just yeah that's what well, we do. Yeah, I mean that's you're not gonna do. show up and argue on my behalf. Like you don't know what you don't know what's going on. You're you're doing what. What you're uh, yeah. paid to do, but well, we appreciate that. But be yeah. careful and try to have fun. I know yeah. this well, puts a severe damper on having fun, but for sure, for sure, I um, definitely know now. I mean, and and uh, honest to God, I did not see the signs in the parking lot for the for well, the because, liquor see, store. So the the property is deeded in my name. Yeah. So I drove down and I just dropped her off and was like, "Go check in, and I'll, I'll keep find going a spot until I get a spot." Yeah. Well, she texts me and she's like, "They won't let me check in. You got to do it." Oh no! Name. So I'm like, <laughs> like, I gotta now. I gotta get parked. Yeah. Driving around, driving around, and there were people that were literally just pulling off the side of the road and just yeah. like parking in the grass and stuff. Yeah. And I seen a spot open up at the liquor store. And I'm like. I, I've always been under the assumption that they were affiliated. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Yeah. They're definitely not. So I pulled into that spot, and, I, and you know, I wasn't planning on staying as long as we did. I thought yeah. we'd go check in and we'll boogie. Back. But I did not see those signs. Like, my, I wasn't looking for anything like that. Yeah. I was just like... Normally they're pretty lenient on their stuff over there, but Saturdays is the liquor store main day, yeah. and then when they don't have enough spots over there, then they really get aggravated. But usually that was they'll, yesterday. That was yesterday afternoon. That was Friday. Yeah. So. Normally they'll give a little more time, but I know that. Yeah, there was a bunch of people that come running, so you weren't the only one yesterday. <laughs> you were just the only one that I got, right. so I don't. <laughs> we were the example for everybody else. They were like, I know I seen some older couple. They were hustling. They were like, "Oh my God, he's going after our truck!" Oh and they were God. they were boogieing across the parking lot. But uh, we come walking across uh, across the yard to, to go to the parking lot, <laughs> and she was like, "Where's your car?" I'm like, <laughs> "I was like, I think that's it." <laughs> nope, that's not it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's uh. It is what it is. Well, maybe they'll. I don't know. <laughs> At least you've got documentation, I guess, and maybe uh. Yeah, I mean. Ah. Uh, yeah, Mike. it'll it'll probably be in our best interest to just forget about it and move on. All right. Well, yeah, lots of drinks tonight. Yeah. I appreciate you getting this over here. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, nice couple. I know I know YouTube doesn't enjoy the nice couple. They they want to see the the yelling and screaming, but I appreciate the nice couple. I'll tell you that much. They uh and it is, guys. It's it's really kind of a complicated situation over there. Um the, the liquor store is not affiliated with with Westgate. Um, you know, liquor. I guess Westgate would probably like to have their own liquor store, uh, but that's just not happening. And um, it is kind of tricky over there. I guess I should say it's the same situation as as our downtown Gatlinburg. You want to pull up to an establishment and you want to have immediate parking right down at. And, and it to be the most convenient thing possible. And, uh, you know, that's just not the way our area is. Sometimes you're gonna have to walk. You're not gonna get storefront. You're not gonna get, you know, all of the, all of the conveniences of, of, of the situation. And, and that's kind of the way Westgate's set up. Um, you're gonna come in and like you said, they're working on the water park. So that kind of cuts off that parking lot. And really you shouldn't be parking at the water park unless you're going to the water park. And then secondly, they're, their seminars and um, and their bigger bigger parking lot is is up behind the main structure, um, just up the hill. So when you pull into Westgate, um, instead of going over towards the water park, you go straight up to the top of the hill, and it's a big gigantic parking lot. It's huge, but you're going to have to walk a little bit, and uh, you know a lot of people, you know, don't want to do that, I guess, and and get themselves in trouble with with the liquor store or they're parking in the grassy areas like he said but Westgate's not gonna they're not gonna tow you for parking in a in a grassy area I wouldn't think I've never been called for that anyway yeah you can't park at the liquor store they've they've got a tiny
tiny parking lot and um, they're in the business to make money and uh, they can't make money if nobody can get to them to park. I mean, I guess if I really wanted a beer, I might walk a little farther than <laughs> what uh, a normal person would. Do a lot of things for some cold beer. <laughs> I might walk. I might walk up the top of a mountain for a cold beer. It just depends on the situation. But anyway, guys, no, they're uh, you know they were nice people. They were nice people. So I guess that's enough on that one. Stick around. Stay tuned. It's a beautiful Saturday. Mm -hmm.